Hi guys, it's Kiana and welcome back for another video. Today's video was a suggestion on what my opinion was on the bare minimum and high standards in a relationship, in my opinion. So let's get into today's video. The bare minimum for me, I can list it off just in the general, you know, way. Respect, obviously, proper communication. Communication is like really key. If you don't communicate, then there's no point somewhere along the lines there's going to be misunderstanding and the relationship is not going to survive. Obviously, being loyal to each other. Compromise. You have to compromise. No relationship works on everyone getting everything they want. Supporting your partner. Allowing your partner not to feel like they are being sidelined. Being on the same page as your partner. It really helps so you, you know where you guys stand with each other. Just a normal communication like this is what I'm expecting and letting your partner know where you are. And this is not meant in a controlling possessive way but if you tell your partner listen here yeah, I'm going out to the shop quickly or tonight I'm going to hang out with my friends. Communicate that across so that your partner doesn't feel like they're kind of left in the middle of nowhere in a dark room. Being each other's equal in a relationship, I don't think a relationship can really grow health in a healthy way if you don't view your partner as an equal. It doesn't matter what type of relationship it is. Also for a relationship, you should just be growing in general, in all aspects, because how can you start your relationship at one month and a year later your relationship is still the same? It doesn't make sense. People change and people are always changing, so you have to move with it, <laughs> right? Right, so obviously those were my bare minimums. Some of them might be a high standard to you, but I did get a few answers from people online on Instagram on what their bare minimum was. So let's check these out. I wrote it down and obviously this will be anonymous in case someone wants to attack someone because they don't agree, so it's anonymous. So the first one is basic morals like honesty, faithfulness, kindness, etc. It's a bare minimum. If you don't have honesty, faithfulness and kindness, why are you in a relationship? Especially if you don't have faithfulness. Go home. Go fix yourself. <laughs> the next one, communication. Like I said earlier, how will your relationship function if you don't communicate with one another? The next one is honest communication. Now this may be similar to my and the previous answer, but technically it's slightly different. You can communicate with someone in a relationship and do it dishonestly, just so that you can get that person off your back. So someone else said another bare minimum is accepting non-trusting partners and not communicating properly. With this, I'm gonna go on my own opinion, obviously. The person who sent this, you know who you are. When people are in a relationship, maybe their previous relationship wasn't that great and they were just receiving the bare minimum and maybe the person just didn't communicate, they didn't give them any time of day and they didn't trust the person but they accepted it because they were in love with the person. I think that's where this is going. When you accept the bare minimum because you think that's what it's supposed to be like. And the last one, which I think is actually quite important. I'm so glad this person brought it up because when I was doing research, because currently I have a whole Word document on the side. When I was doing research, I actually missed this one. And it's actually quite true. It says, stop the chase after you got in the relationship. You need to constantly make your partner feel like you appreciate them and you still want them as much as you did the day you asked them out or the day you started talking to them. So don't drop your effort. It's just, it's just rude. <laughs> it's just rude. So next, obviously, will be our high standards in relationships. So my opinion will be going first. Please, if you don't like it, then just, just shoo. <laughs> shoo. It's my YouTube channel. <laughs> Anyways, so one of my high standards that I have is respecting each other's boundaries, even though you are together. If you're in a relationship with someone, it doesn't mean all your boundaries need to leave. You are still two individual people 
And that's the same thing with consent. In the bare minimum, that's where it lies. And just because you're together doesn't mean you just get everything as a yes. Another high standard I want to add in there is allowing your partner to work through something alone. And by that I mean is, for those of you who have partners who are very private but you're still in a relationship together, sometimes they may not want to discuss something with you. You have to leave it. <laughs> Obviously it's different if you're suspecting someone is cheating and they're hiding things. That's different. What I'm talking about is they are going through something emotionally, mentally, physically, but they're not ready to tell you. You have to respect it. So for me it's a higher standard because you need to just, you know, loss. We'll call you when we need you. Another one of my high standards would be disagreements. So when I say disagreements, I say you have to speak to your partner, find solutions and solve it. Another thing I'd say is like part of the high standards is involving yourself in your partner's likes, even if you don't like it at all. So just put yourself in your partner's interest, you know, just to make them feel like you still care about what they like, even if you don't like it at all. <laughs> Another high standard I would say is discussing with your partner what you expect from them. Speak to your partner about what you expect from them in the relationship. Emotionally, what do you expect from them to do for you when you're feeling this way? Physically, when you're like this, you know, mentally, all those things. What you want, but don't expect, don't expect too much. Don't put such a high standard on your partner that the relationship becomes tiring. If you're obviously older, exiting high school, in university, or working already, discussing future things with your partner is, is a must. <laughs> because if you don't discuss future expectations or future hopes and wants, by the time it comes to the future, you both realize, but that's not my models, that's not my beliefs. Especially if you're older, you're working and you're going on blind dates. From the get-go, be forward, be not like forward, but be straightforward. Tell them this is what I want. Is it in the same line of yours? If not, we shouldn't continue this because then we're wasting both of each other's time. And then another, my last one. Shame, this has been quite a, quite a while. How many minutes? Oh, 17. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it down. My last one. Supporting your partner in public and correcting them in private. Okay, so next, obviously, it's your guys' high standards. Those of you who answered. Thank you, you beautiful souls. The one beautiful soul, you, you know who you are. You've been amazing. You were the one that suggested this video, and you gave so many answers. You'll know your answers when you hear it, but I'm obviously not going to name anyone, but thank you for the idea. Much appreciated. <laughs> so, one of the things was, there ain't no such thing as high standards absolutely love this comment <laughs> i purely loved it because whoever whoever gets this person you know you are you are lucky because this person's obviously willing to go to the ends of earth for whoever they are in a relationship with but i, I found it quite cute this this comment was basically to say that whatever your partner wants you should be able to compromise and do together and if it's considered a high standard for you maybe you just don't deserve this person that person the next one is open communication, vulnerability, and self-improvement. And I think this is set as a high standard because people communicate with their partners. Ooh, their partners. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> people communicate with their partners, but sometimes not as openly as they want to. But when you are just widely open with your partner, no holding back, and you're vulnerable, you improve as a person by firstly getting that off your chest and expressing the way you feel. And obviously the first few times you express it, it's gonna be a bit wonky, it's gonna be come off a bit rude, but the more you do it, the more you improve as a person because you learn how to be vulnerable, even sometimes when you don't want to, but it benefits your relationship. And like I mentioned earlier, I mentioned it earlier mostly because I got off of this person's comment, so. I stole it, sorry. <laughs> Never stopping the chase and always making each other fall deeper. How else? Then your partner will never feel not loved. Your partner will still feel wanted, like, mm, look at this, still want me. And that's what makes a relationship so much more stronger. 
So I actually stole that from this person. I hope you don't mind. The next one. Knowing everything about your person, the good and the bad, and not judging. It's beautiful to grow with someone when you know them truly. And you know that you are looking at someone that you fall in love with for who they are. Straight off the bat. The next one. Absolute loyalty, openness, transparency, and no secrecy. You you heard the auntie. You heard what she said. Don't become making a relationship of a fake shit. <laughs> Wanting to grow as a couple, but still having your own individuality. I mean, I don't know if I mentioned it once, but I had that. Because me and my boyfriend have been together for so long. You sometimes feel like you're losing your sense of individuality. So just don't, don't lose yourself. Just because you have someone in your life. After all that, that was today's video. So yeah, in any case, thank you for coming to today's video on high standards versus the bare minimum. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. You know? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh, it's almost time, guys. I'm dying from the light of the seed. No, the the heat to the light. Oh fuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um, the last one. Wanting to grow as p as a p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p